Construction is now complete. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. We'll watch the Orlando Magic in this one as they go up against the Detroit Pistons here at Little Caesars Arena. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. A look at the Magic starting group. Outside the wings are Suggs and Wagner. Then there's Black. Then it's Paolo Bancaro. And it's Bitadze in at the five down low. And for Detroit, Isaiah Stewart out there with Bogdanovich. Then there's Hayes. Then it's Durant. And it's Cunningham in at point guard. These may not be the team's doors we see in the conference finals this year, but we can expect, I think, them to be a threat for years to come. Kevin, we say they're not going to advance to the conference finals simply because of the lack of experience. Talent is not an issue. We are looking at what is likely the next generation carrying the sport forward. And boy, we are excited to see them. And this is the type of go-to score this team wants Barquero to be. They love his confidence. Gunningham passes to Bogdanovich. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Here's Durant. And he uses the glass on the way up. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now Bogdanovich, after Paolo Bancaro misses from long range. Great defense that time from Bancaro. Orlando's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Wagner. The shot from the low post is good. Just such a true scorer. Franz Wagner knows how to get the ball in the cup. Cunningham looking it over. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Paolo Bancaro. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Stewart passes to Duran. And Duran slams it in. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Here we see the Detroit Pistons, Greg, a franchise known for stifling defense. And going back to back with the bad boys, then the amazing 2004 title team that shut down Shaq and Kobe. And the Pistons have been great. They've had that defense first mentality. Now, here's Van Carroll. Here's Suggs. And no good. Trying to use the glass. The Pistons have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Cunningham outside. Pass to Duran. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Deep two from Wagner. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. That's about simply playing hard. Wagner doing what it takes to find a shot in the interior. Hayes down low, out to the right wing. Stewart finds Hayes. Just five on the clock. Here's Bogdanovich. Hits from the high post. That feathery touch from Bogdanovich. You just can't let this guy get loose from the mid-range. And that one's good, oh, Wagner. Wagner. Wagner's got six. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. By every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. Here is Cunningham. After the basket by Franz Wagner. Great defense that time from Van Carroll. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. This pause in the action gives us a chance to see the teams that have scored the most points off turnovers this month. 
uh, Magic in third. Yeah, I mean, their defense has been really good, and it's led to a lot of easy opportunities on offense. Creating points off turnovers has been key. Now, here's Durin. Six points for him. Cunningham inside. Working on Black. Pulls it up. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. This game against Detroit here, it's their first meeting of the season. And two teams here that were evenly matched a season ago as they split the season series. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Wagner's checked in for Koga Bitadze. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Bancaro. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Franz Wagner. And it's Gary Harris in for Jalen Stubb. That's it, yeah. Joe Ingles is proving that as a passer, he is a special player. Pistons trail by three. Here's Sasser. Two minutes remaining in the first. Goes up and is it nice and easy. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Ingles. And he misses his first shot of the game. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Here's Sasser. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. I'll tell you this. If you're going to allow your opponent to make that many shots, you have got to be as solid on the offensive end, and clearly they were not. And the Magic making strides, but Doris, their offense is still lagging behind. Yeah, a couple things come to mind here, Kevin. Obviously, outside shooting and playmaking are two areas where they can grow. Elite perimeter play would probably help take them to the next level, but this is all part of the process when you've got young talent. it up and this next one could give them the lead and ga in your opinion what's the main order of business when you look at the first year pistons coaching staff kevin for me it's they got to clean up the fouling it's often a problem for young teams but they have the quickness and size to stay in front of people and just force contested shots he's off on the second Boy, the missed free throw there, keeping this game at even. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. To the paint. Here's Isaac. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. This is a very confident young guy. Jonathan Isaac feels like he belongs in the NBA. Welcomes the contact in that instance. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet. He'd like to get that up over that mark. Burks, he's checked in for Detroit. And that one misses. Well, the potential of Jonathan Isaac is truly exciting. This guy is still a bit raw, but he has every tool to be successful, both offensively and defensively. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Great chemistry between two teammates. Love the passing. Thompson against Harris. Thompson passes to Bagley. Ivy with it. No scoring in this one. Back to Bagley. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Got to push Bagley out of the paint. Once he's close to the rim, he is locked in on scoring. 
Ingles can't get it to go. Now, here's Ivy. Defense is right there. Pass to Thompson. Takes the three. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. A very good defensive player is Gary Harris, folks. He is willing to work, grind, and contest shots. And so it's Barnes Wagner making highlights for the Orlando Magic. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We've got more in store for you right after this. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And when you consider how the Magic are doing, what do you think? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. I'll tell you, that willingness to make the extra pass, that is what creates good looks. It also forces the defense to scramble. We know Doris officiating is always going to be a point of contention. But some teams let it affect them more than others. And, and Kevin, that can obviously have a major difference in so many of the games. And for me, a lot of times it comes down to maturity. Teams that dwell on calls are going to have issues, particularly in big games. Let the coach worry about the officials. You play. Cunningham is out there with Hayes. Then it's Durham. Then there's Alec Burks and it's Stewart in a power forward. They're the group Detroit will start the second with. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Wendell Carter Jr. didn't break through in his first stop with the Bulls, but he's become a cornerstone player with the Magic. What he says is, I've definitely tapped into a different side of myself. Defensively, being able to guard one through five. Just continuing to go up from there and helping my team. Kevin? Good stuff, D.A., thank you. So here's Burks. Paolo Bancaro making his last shot. Now, here's Suggs. Covered by Hayes. Jaylen. And that one's good, Suggs. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one over. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Now, here's Burks. Still scoreless. Cunningham for three. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Edor's talking about the young Franz Wagner. He's already proven how valuable he is. Look, Kevin, there's no doubt. For Wagner, this is a swing man who does a little bit of everything. He can shoot it. He can put it on the deck. He can make his teammates look good. A uh, score from all three levels. There is not a lot to pick at where Franz Wagner is concerned. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. And here's Hayes. Shot to stop the run. The shot comes out. Bancaro kicks to Suggs. This one for three. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at Orlando. Here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third best record in the conference. And of course, there's the Pistons, just way behind. And when I look at Orlando, they're one of the teams that's caught everybody off guard. This season has gone about as well as they could have hoped for early on. Absolutely. You can tell they are relishing their status as underdogs. It has fueled an impressive start. And it's Bancaro missing. Pistons trail by nine. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. GA seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. Oh, great ball movement there. So it's the Pistons now. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Here's Hayes. Here's Durham. Oh! My goodness. Oh, 
forget about going for the long range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Power behind by Carroll's move. The rookie pushes his shot through first, despite first the contact. For Orlando, they have shot just one free throw, missing that one early. At the line for the match. Van Carroll. Paolo. Van Carroll. Three shots. Free throw, good from Van Carroll. And a big man who can do a little bit of everything. Van Carroll's future is certainly bright. So both teams changing it up here. Good on the second free throw. And he nails the third. Paolo Boncaro, a guy who not only has the frame, but he's got the mind and the work habits to be great in this league. Can't wait to watch. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, the shot by Ivy, no good. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Here's Van Carroll. Rebounded by the Pistons. They come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies. And coming into that one, looking to be competitive, but the disparity in talent, just too great. You have the sense that they expected that result. Once they dug themselves into a hole, I thought they let go of the rope. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Here's Wagner. Great team that time from Bagley. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Here's Thompson. Got a hand on it. What a big time block from Franz Wagner. Wow, how about the grit on the defensive end? This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort. Love the energy. Here's Ben Kim. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And that one's good, son. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Now, here's Ivy. Tight defense on him. 105 left now here in the second. And it's Suggs with the rebound. Magic leading by nine. Here's Ben Carroll. And finished off by Ben Carroll. And once Ben Carroll gets going, boy, it's hard to stop him. Given his size and speed, he's going to be a handful. Detroit has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Passes to Bagley. Shoots over Wagner. Bagley with the bucket. Orlando's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And finished off by Ben Carroll. And Ben Carroll is putting it all together, capable of scoring from all three levels. Down low, here's Stewart, and the dunk by Stewart. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Here's Wagner. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Sasser, and that one is stuck right through. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Thompson finds Stewart. Takes a three. No good that time. That'll do it for the first half. Orlando out in front. Out by nine. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. 
four. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, when we got to set screens, we've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. It was a closely contested first quarter for Orlando. They led by two after the first. It's fair to say that the second quarter belonged to them. They've now got a nine-point edge heading into the second half. Shaq, what do you think about the Magic? The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock. They have to. Overall, they make every possession count. Over to Kenny. What do you think about Detroit? Well, it's never fun. You're playing against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You know, Paolo Bancaro, guys, has been exceptional. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Nine-point game on the court for Orlando. The forward spots, it's Wagner and Bancaro. Black is out there with Suggs. And it's Bitadze in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, here's Wagner. Bogdanovich missing his last shot. Ooh, that's on the defense there. Ideal positioning for Franz Wagner to throw it down. Now here's Hayes. There's the pass to Duran. Kicks to Bogdanovich from deep three-point land. Connects from three-point range. Bogdanovich has got six. Well, no hesitation from Bogdanovich in the catch-and-shoot situation. Beautiful. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Here's Cunningham. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's Duran. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First. Wow, wow, foul. he got whacked on that. There shouldn't be much debate there. Detroit shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. And he can't get the first one. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Franz Wagner. And the second free throw, good. Orlando leading by nine. Here's Bitadze. Rebounded by Cade Cunningham. And, well, Detroit shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Detroit, no good that time either. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. And it's Suggs missing. Pistons have gone one of three since starting the second half. 
And Doris, we know Suggs, the fifth pick in the 2021 draft, struggled with his shot early. But it seems like he's found other ways to help. Kevin, you have to do everything you can to mask a weakness that you have. So strengths for Suggs, he's got the ability to guard both guard positions. He rebounds his position well, and he pushes tempo. So while that perimeter game develops, contribute in other ways. Here's Cunningham. Jalen Suggs making his last shot. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Trills the three-pointer. Bogdanovich has got nine. And looking at the stats, Boyan, one of the more prolific corner three shooters, he loves that spot. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. The Pistons brought in Monty Williams to guide this team from the bottom. He said, I like those challenges, the process of building seeing players get better, and understanding what it's like to navigate crunch time situations. For me to be able to come in now, it's part of this restoration. Kevin, Monty has plenty of work ahead. Indeed he does, David, thanks. And here's Cunningham, after Jalen Suggs made that last three-pointer. Bogdanovich finds Stewart. Back to Bogdanovich, down to five on the shot clock. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And Caro outside. Over Stewart. And there's Van Caro on the assist from Ingles. Assistant. Van Caro's got the lead up to 13 now for the match. Detroit's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. To the inside, Stewart. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Defending Cunningham, boy, a challenge. You have to pay extra attention. That's when you leave someone open. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Marvin Bagley's checked in for Durant. Brooks comes in for Isaiah Stewart. Thompson, he's checked in for Hayden. And Ivy subbed in for Cade Cunningham. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. From the Bengals. Here's Suggs. And a good offensive Jaylen board. And he gets Suggs. the bucket. Suggs has got 17 now. Pistons trail by 11. Bounce pass from Ivy. Out to Thompson. Back to Bagley. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. He has six. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And that one is good from Sun. And the Magic lead by 11. Well, Jalen Suggs sees an opportunity to create an extra chance for his team, and he goes after it. And Bogdanovich kicks to Burks. Bagley plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Bagley's got four points now in the quarter. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. 18 feet out, and it's Orlando with another yeah, uh, Isaac has got a high release, excellent balance in the mid-range, really nicely done. Pass to Thompson. Tries yet again, and the layup is up and in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Isaac. Gets it to go Jonathan from beyond the arc. Isaac. Boy, Jonathan Three. Isaac, if he can consistently make shots, he has got such incredible potential. Burks dishes to Ivy. It's hauled in by the Magic. Suggs has got six rebounds now in the game. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Pistons trail by 12. Here's Ivy, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Second and Ivy foul. just so difficult to corral. Sometimes you, you have to foul him and hope he misses. This is his first free throw of the game. 
And he shot foul shots at about a 75% clip a season ago. First free throw is good. And you have to appreciate the all-out effort Jay Ivey gives you on the court. He works so hard to find ways to get involved and prove he belongs here. He's perfect from the line this time. The first thing people mention about Ivy is that explosiveness. The, the first step allows him to get downhill and really makes him effective in those ISO situations. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Magic lead by 12. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Orlando leading by 12. Ivanovich out there with Isaiah Stewart. Then there's Hayes. Then it's Cade Cunningham. And it's Duran in at the five spot. That's the group for Detroit right now. Here's Hayes. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. Back to Wagner. Here's Black. And Orlando again with the bucket. You can see the feel Franz Wagner has for the game. Just great vision right there. Now Hayes. Black grabs the board. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. Assisted Six by points here for Joe Ingles. Well, it's excellent recognition from Cole Anthony, but how about your offense working to get a man that wide open? Pretty. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. The Pistons working the ball around now. Stewart down low. Working on Black. Can't connect from short range. Outside Anthony. Fires the three. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Now, fans certainly used to the three ball flying from Cole Anthony. He is not shy, folks. They need this. Cunningham passes to Durant. And he gets it to go. Well, great decision to kick it out. Trust that your teammate will knock down the shot. Magic leading by 17. Deep two from Anthony. Hit the live Orlando. Vitadze can't hit. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table. The ability to anchor your defense. Black kicks to Ingles. Fires high post. Duran pulls it in. Duran's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Cunningham against Ingles. Looking to end his cold spell. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Thompson is checked in for the Pistons. And a change for the Magic. Bancaro's checked in for Joe Ingles.
Here's Stewart. Over Bang Carroll. Here's Turin. Orlando grabs the miss. And Carroll's got rebound number five here tonight. Taken away by Hayes. Pass to Cunningham. Into the lane. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. Subs. He's checked in for Orlando. Subs. Thompson outside. And it's denied. Now, here's Suggs. Covered by Hayes. And that one is good Jaylen from Suggs. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Orlando. A high-effort brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. <laughs> he just bangs down the one hand. Mm, two very easy points right here. Here's Ben Carroll. His three pointers off the mark. Pistons trail by 17. Here's Cunningham. A shot that time, not on target. Great defense that time from Ben Carroll. Here's Suggs. Hands it from downtown. Suggs. Suggs has got 24 points. points. Well, you see it's six foot four with excellent lift on his jumper. Jalen Suggs has no trouble scoring over good contest. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And the NBA said expansion should wait until after the new CBA. Right, that's done, so... What new team? I mean, Kevin, it seems like Seattle's been waiting forever. Professional teams have been crowding into Las Vegas, and don't sleep on Mexico City. A lot of potential fans south of the border. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Thompson. Stolen. Two minutes. And up the court come the Magic on the break. Two Here's minutes. Black. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Black's got six in the quarter. Know this about Franz Wagner. This guy very capable as a passer. Cunningham outside. Plays it up off the glass. Hey. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. They grab their own miss. Wagner uses the glass Bob, to finish the lane. Boy, that one takes a level of commitment from Franz Wagner. This guy wants to keep the play alive. Outside, Bogdanovich. That's in, coming off the assist from Cunningham. Cunningham's got six assists now in the game. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Orlando. When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the team has to be happy that this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a rock on the ground and the other guys just can't seem to miss. And so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Jalen Suggs. They simply can't stop him right now. This guy playing with passion and focus. Cunningham's shot is off. Orlando's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Here's Suggs. Bangs home the trifecta. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Inside. Shots good by Durin. And really with a pass first mentality, Cunningham, the type of player that you like to play with. 
and Suggs throws it down. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. That one falls. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Wagner on the wing. Orlando moving the ball around. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And that's 31 points for Jalen Suggs. Cunningham outside, right wing. Here's Hayes. Offline with the baseline jumper. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cookies to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.